Hello everyone, this is Mark Lobar at BlenderPassion.com and in this video tutorial I will be showing you how to model low poly hair. Just like the hair you see on this guy right here. You can use these techniques for a low poly character in a game engine or you can add subdivision surface modifiers, add extra geometry and more locks of hair to add more detail. So first you are going to need a head model to base your hair off of and reference from. So you can download this hairbase.blend from blenderpassion.com. It is a project file located right under the tutorial and inside of it you will find a man. Now I'm just going to go to add-ons and enable screencast keys so you can actually see my key movements and what I'm doing. Then we're going to go into side view, orthographic view, select the top vertices here, add to selection, select the last few there, and we're just going to shift D and press P to separate. Then we can hide our man here. And then we'll just go to the materials tab and take out all that unnecessary stuff. And go down to maximum draw type, change that to wire. And then we're going to change the ray visibility as well. And now I'm just going to scale the head up a bit. And then press Shift S and cursor 2 selected. And then Shift A, add a plane, scale them down a bit. Tab into edit mode, add a loop cut. And then we're going to press Shift Tab, so to put on snapping, change that to face mode. So then we can slap these vertices directly onto his face here. It's always a good idea to do them individually for the first couple planes, just so you don't get any weird artifacts or anything like that. And then I'm going to change the orientation to normal, so we can scale along the normal here. Select the top edge there, press E to extrude. I'm going to extrude again, just to get the hair, just give the hair some shape here. Maybe do a little fancy rotation stuff. And then we can take that top one and just move it over a bit. Just orient things nicely. For the sake of this tutorial, I'll be modeling something... Well, I'm not going to finish the entire hairstyle. That would take at least half an hour to do. So I'll just give you the tools and techniques to model your own hairstyle. And we can give it a little point like that. So now we're going to make a new hair strand. I usually fill in the front, back, and side areas of the face and then do the sort of corner edges and just piece everything together that way. So we're getting some artifacts here. So we're just going to press A and then Control N to make the normals consistent. Then we're going to continue on with this side lock of hair and the little point there. Just going to select that and duplicate it. And then rotate it a bit just so we can really orient that right onto the head. we go. And continuing on. There really is no easy way to really just orient an entire lock of hair. It takes a lot of manual work. This is the type of work where you can sit back in your recliner, bring out a cup of tea, put on some smooth jazz, and just model. So now I'm just going to put these ends right into the guy's head, just to hide them. Usually 
hair converges to a certain point so you need to make sure that you're trying to do that just to make it look more natural and then we're going to select the middle edge loop and alt s to scale on the normal and i usually like to block out the entire thing and then do the scaling like that just so everything can be different it gives it a lot more irregularity and more natural look So I'll now just keep extruding these right down into the guy's head. And extrude this. Do a bit of rotation, make it look nice. Now I'm just going to shade this smooth and give that a quick render. So overall it's looking kind of ugly, but we can fix that. So we need to fix those little gaps there. So basically the idea is to take an edge loop like this and embed it into another face. So make sure you don't see any vertices laying around because that'll just give weird artifacts and gaps in between the hair. And continuing on. This looks like it should be down a bit more. And over a bit. And we'll just take this edge loop, well maybe not all of it. And then we're just going to put a bit of that into the other one. And then take these vertices sticking out and just put them into the lock of hair on the side there, just to fill in those gaps. And it looks like there's one more little artifact there, so we're just going to have to get rid of that. And now we're pretty much done with this tutorial. Well, you can download the finished project files at blenderpassion.com. If you found this useful, please take a second to subscribe, and thank you for watching.